famous, I'm like licking this thing, and I'm getting his, his, you know, his old man germs in my in my mouth. That's disgusting. I shouldn't be licking. I lost today, Mavis. Okay, before we can get started, we have to do a little head count. Who's playing? Hey, can you turn that crap down? Playing with all your friends, huh? So, shall we play seven or twenty-one questions? All right, it's in the mail. Okay, here we go. A question pops up, you know the answer, you buzz in. You hit the button on your controller that corresponds with the answer. It's that simple. Now check it out. These front buttons are going to be your buzzers, and then you'll hit one of these four bad boys to pick the answers. Got it? Good. Ten seconds. Go to black. Nine. All right, we're eight, going. Seven. <laughs> All right, let's six, get the graphics five, queued up. Four. Three. Chemicals. Don't just play God. Be God. Daddy. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Welcome to Jack. Just you and me tonight, huh? And then your friends want to get together, so why not hang out with the game show host? Really, thanks for thinking of me. Well, looks like it's just the two of us. Okay, then. It's our party, and no one else is invited. I need a category. The selection is, it's 9 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? You get this one right and it's $3,000. Put it in gear, because here we go. In which of these situations would you most likely find a spermophile? Hiding inside your daughter's gym shorts, crawling around Central Park at 4 a.m., swimming at the beach with your son, or inserting quarters at the local peep show? Should have picked this. Uh, a spermophile is a ground squirrel, so you probably find one crawling around Central Park, which is all too normal. I mean, those squirrels are freaking sex maniacs. All right, hit me. Shake hands with Police Line, do not enter the Garden of Eden. And you're playing for $3,000 cash money. So what if the Garden of Eden had been considered a crime scene? Suppose the police search the Garden of Eden without a warrant. What doctrine allows Adam's lawyers to claim the apple is inadmissible in court? The Fruit of the Poisonous Tree Doctrine, the Golden Apple Doctrine, the Dirty Snake Doctrine, or the Broken Branch Doctrine? The Fruit of the Poisonous Tree Doctrine disallows evidence uncovered illegally by law enforcement officials. <laughs> of course, they could easily run Adam up on charges of indecent exposure. Okay, pick a category. This one likes to go by. That's a horse dropping of a different color. $1,000 at stake on this one. Remember the horse of a different color from the Wizard of Oz? Well, he's pulled his last coach, and if he can't find some other way to be of use, it's the glue factory. What would the horse of a different color from the Land of Oz have to do if he wanted to be hired as the logo for TriStar Pictures? Become pink and grow a horn, turn white and grow wings, change to bright red and grow a man's torso, or turn orange and grow another head? The TriStar logo is Pegasus, the winged horsey. Think of TriStar as some billionaire Japanese movie executive's version of My Little Pony. Category, please. You can't stop. 
stop at three. Then you gotta head for yeah. This little number is known as food courts and bodily fluid. You give me a right answer, I give you three thousand bucks. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. If your body were a big strip mall, which store would have the most sweat glands for sale? Ear One, Hand and Foot Locker, Walden Butts, or Chest King? No, but the Chess King does sell the most gold chains and hair. <laughs> See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. <laughs> your palms and soles have more sweat glands than any other part of your body. Yep, even more than Orifice Depot. Okay, I need a category. Let's blow this time and head for number five. The category is put them together. You can't resist. Three thousand dollars for this one. Hey, remember the McDLT sandwich from McDonald's? When the two sides of a McDLT are put together, the hot side heats up the lettuce and tomato, but the cool side does nothing to the burger. What scientific principle is demonstrated? The kinetic theory of gases, the second law of thermodynamics, the photovoltaic effect, or Boyle's law? The second law of thermodynamics says that with two bodies of differing temperature, heat will flow from the warmer body to the cooler one. The third law of thermodynamics says something about grease soaking through the bottom of the bag. I need a category. Here we have Homer Sweet Homer. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Hey, do you remember that the first home video game system was called the Odyssey? Well, if the first home video game were actually based on the epic poem The Odyssey, what would be the object of the game? To get Odysseus home, to take over Greece, to conquer the Trojans, or to build a giant wooden horse? The Odyssey recounts Odysseus's adventurous voyage home. <laughs> of course, with the technology available back then, it would probably be a hyped-up version of Pong. Bounce Odysseus between Troy and Greece until you win! All right, hit me. Seven lucky, lucky seven. The category? Eat this. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Heads up, here it comes. Say you invite your backstabbing ex over for dinner. Based on a well-known proverb about revenge, what should you do before you serve up a dish of it? Nuke it, refrigerate it, add water, or throw it in the blender? As the saying goes, revenge is a dish best served cold. With a side of that jello that has fruit in it. Okay, pick a category. We'll call it a date if you can answer question eight. Coming at you. You did a what? This one can net you a grand. Let's see how you handle this one. Which of these TV animals would be most helpful to you if you were to participate in the Iditarod? Yogi Bear, Tennessee Tuxedo, Mr. Rat, or Scooby-Doo? Hey, a horse may be a horse, but a wrong answer is a waste of my time. Let's take a look at the right answer. The Iditarod is a famous dog sled race held up in Alaska, so Scooby's your best partner. And you could have won the Iditarod if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Category, please. Rain of is number nine. 
Let's see what we got going. Contraception Nazi. This one's worth a grand. All right, you know that classic Seinfeld where Elaine is hoarding contraceptive sponges and her dates have to be sponge-worthy for her to use one? Well, if Elaine thinks her date is expunge worthy what would she most likely do? Explore his interior, explain him in detail, erase him completely, or expose his shortcomings. When something such as a criminal record is expunged, it is erased completely. But on Seinfeld, the annoying dates are usually just killed off. Okay, I need a category. Oh yeah, baby, it's the moment you've always dreamt of. It's time for a three-way. Okay, this is simple, but hear me out anyway. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. When the correct three-way member is lit up, buzz in. If you make a match, you pack it a thousand bucks. But watch out, if you're wrong, you'll lose a grand every time you're wrong. And here we go. This lovely three-way goes by the category of, let's settle this like children. Yep, it's a three-way all about that schoolyard justice system. Rock, paper, scissors. Looks like this is it. Here's your three-way. That's all we got. Now, let's see how you did. Well, the word average comes to mind. Let's check out how your overall score looks. One down, round two to go. Let's get on it. Now, remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. I need a category. And this one is, where hot dog vendors go to retire. This one can net you $6,000. Okay, let's try this. She sells seashells by the she so- Damn, I never get it right. Well, let's try this. If she sells seashells by the seashore of Seychelles, what ocean do the shells come from? Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, or Arctic Ocean? Seychelles is a whole bunch of islands in the Indian Ocean, northeast of Madagascar. <laughs> that still doesn't give you a clue where it is, does it? All right, hit me. I'm getting a reading of 12. Over. Well, what do we have here? Rule. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Hey, imagine this. Suppose an owl decided to run for government. Considering the collective name for a group of owls, what would be the best choice for his campaign slogan? Give a hoot, choose me for parliament, a one, a two, a committee. Who's your representative? Me, or I'll be your choice for the Senate. A group of owls is a parliament. The next order of business concerns... Who? Who? I'll tell you who if you'd shut up for a second, you damn owl. Okay, pick a category. Swing your partner one in three. A do si do for the big third time. 
Well, looks like this category is Nature by Naughty, and it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Hey, you know how they always say if you play certain rock albums backwards, you can hear satanic messages? Well, if you played Naughty by Nature's song OPP backwards so it became PPO, what would they most likely be rapping about? The American Civil Liberties Union, their mailbox at the post office, their health insurance plan, or a type of weapon? You're wrong, and stay out of my purse. The correct answer is... PPO stands for Preferred Provider Organization, a type of health insurance that usually lets you choose the doctor you want. I hear if you play the Humpty Dance backwards, it says HMOs are the devil's health insurance. Category, please. This one's called a perfectly safe question, and you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Well, uh, to keep us out of trouble, we had to make a few changes to the following question. Which of the following phrases would not get us sued? Reverend is having sex with a is a drug addict, products taste like or I like water. is a drug addict. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't know who you're talking about. See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. This is the only phrase that would probably not get us sued. And it's true, I do like water. Almost as much as likes hamsters. Okay, I need a category. Hey, all right, guess what you just picked? It's time to play Dis or Dat. The category for this Dis or Dat is Toys that Replace Oracles and Fortune Tellers. Okay, I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's something on a Ouija board, something in a magic eight ball, or both. As each thing comes up, if it's on a Ouija board, buzz in with the square button. If it's something on a magic eight ball, hit the circle button. And if it's both, press the X button, and hit the triangle button if you want to skip. 1,000 bucks for each correct answer, and you lose 1,000 if you get it wrong or if you don't get to it at all. Okay, give me 30 seconds on the clock. Let's dance. Concentrate and ask again, is it found on a Ouija board, magic, eight ball, or boat? One. Goodbye. Most likely. Yes. I'll look good. Last one. No. Six out of seven. Good day at the plate, batter. Let's check out your new average. Didn't have that before, did ya? Alright, let's move on. I need a category. For your enjoyment, my best friend Jesse's girl. One right answer and $6,000 head your way. Okay, so Rick Ocasek of the car sang my best friend's girl and Rick Springfield sang Jesse's girl, right? Well, if my best friend's girl and Jesse's girl were the same girl, which of the following could logically be true? Jesse is Rick Ocasek's best friend, Rick Springfield is Jesse, Springfield is Ocasek's best friend, or Rick Springfield is a girl. No, see, because Ocasek's best friend has the girl he used to have, and Jesse has the girl that Rick Springfield wants, so Springfield has no girl, so he can't be Ocasek's best friend. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd pick this. Rick Ocasek sings she's my best friend's girl, but she used to be mine, and Rick Springfield wishes he had his friend Jesse's girl. So if they were the same girl, that would make Jesse Rick Ocasek's best friend. But Rick told Rick, and then Rick told me that he thinks you're totally cute. All right, hit me.
On the big bayou in Louisiana, west on 17. And I believe this one's called, no, I said Mother Tucker. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. All right, listen up. If you disagree with what someone says, you might start coughing, bullshit, bullshit, <clears throat> under your breath. But if you disagree with someone's outdated Leninist socialist views, what would you probably cough under your breath then? Bolshevik, Bolshevik, Borscht, or Blooper. Lenin led the Bolsheviks to gain control of the Russian Revolution in 1917. <laughs> and if that doesn't shut them up, well, you can always shoot them, bury their body in the woods, and claim the Germans did it. Okay, pick a category. This category's known as Battle of the Sexists. Set up straight, this one's worth $6,000. Flex those fingers, cause here it comes. Considering the Native American derivation of its name, which of the following slogans might you expect to see on an Illinois license plate? Where the butchering begins, the wasteland by the lake, the show me your ass state, or land of superior men? In case you're wondering, uh, Illinois is a corruption of the word Illiniwak, which means land of the superior men. Land of superior men would look cool on my plates. Not that my Camaro and back-off mud flaps don't already make it obvious that I'm a bad customer. Category, please. Step right up for question 19. May I introduce grown man and childish names? Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Which of the following is not the nickname of a Harlem Globetrotter? Sweetwater, Icebox, Meadowlark, or Goose? <laughs> you forgot about Meadowlark Lemon? Pucker up. Let's take a look at the right answer. <laughs> there was never an icebox who played basketball for the Globetrotters. Yeah, they could never find an extension cord long enough to let him go all the way up and down the court. Okay, I need a category. <laughs> Say hello to Palm Do. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Think fast. Where does the Cannes Film Festival take place? Cannes, Spain, Italy, or in the can? Well done, Eisenstein. The Cannes Film Festival is in Cannes, as in, yes, I can make a crappy movie and make people think it's art. I need a category. All rise, the attack is now in session. If you see two words that go together on the screen, buzz in and you've got 2,000. A little edgy, aren't we? Relax and take a look at this clue. I'll tell you when to panic. Four. Hmm, could be about golf, but you never know. Let's check it out.
at what it did to your score! That's the game! Wow, you were the best guest we had this whole game! Really? Now do me a favor, take a quick look to your left, now your right, and repeat after me. You don't know Jack! All right, that's one more in the can, folks. Hey, Raul, what's happening? Well, look at who made it onto the high scoreboard. I'll just call you a big shot into your name or something. So much more Tony gratifying than winning real money, oh, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, if you want to play again, just Ubernostrum let me know whenever you're ready, all right? I enjoy the freedom of Ubernostrum. It takes the pain away. Ubernostrum! Ubernostrum makes me feel fresh. Ubernostrum improved my golf game. I made $20,000. I never knew love, and, and then I tried Ubernostrum. Ubernostrum! I haven't cried in weeks, I think. You should take Ubernostrum, just in case. There's no downside. It looks great. I look great. I feel great now. I feel good. Good. Goodness. Savory goodness. Ubernostrum. This is gonna sound strange, but I feel like a more like a woman. I feel more like a woman. Ubernostrum changes lives. Thank you, Ubernostrum. Thank God for Ubernostrum. Du musst mehr gut gefühlen mit Ubernostrum. Love dogs. This morning on the asylum. Hello? Yes, is this Mrs. Forsyth? Yes, it is. This is Principal Warga. I'm afraid I've got some bad news about your son Timmy in the fourth grade. What? I'm afraid he died at school this morning. What? Timmy? Yeah, he, he oh died of a God. severe wedgie. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> yeah, the autopsy wow. show he also <laughs> suffered from repeated wet willies. What? Who is this? Who? Looks like Prince little Warner. Timmy's mother's a bit pissed. What? Pissed. I'm the one who should be pissed. She <laughs> wouldn't let me finish the joke. Oh, you guys are so crazy. 109.7 WEOB. The Asylum. Weekday mornings from 7 to 11. This week on Zenora, Queen of Battle, a plan is hatched. Zenora, what should we do? We'll have to make them think we're enemies. Quick, fake a cat fight. Ah, my hair! And a friendship is strengthened. That cat fight got me so dusty. Here, let me give you a sponge bath. All on the next Zenora. Are you desperate for a second income? Have a really high pain threshold? If so, University Hospital is looking to pay subjects big money for practically nothing. Twice a week I'm paid to take pills and drink stuff. You know, sometimes I'm a little moody when I come home to my girlfriend, but... <laughs> Like that's anything new. Can't get to sleep at night? Might as well be paid for your anxieties. The glare from the lights can get annoying. But at the 20-hour mark, you don't even notice the wires and IV tubes. My kids want guitar lessons. It's, it's all for them. Why sit around at home watching TV when you can get paid to do it at a research facility? On drugs! Once a month, I let med students give me rectal exams. It's not like I'm a prostitute or anything. I'm paid good money to let people probe. Ass. Call 1-800-ME-FOR-SALE and get rich quick, because you don't need to be dead to sell your body to science. <laughs>